everybody hello youtube hello jeff pros what's going on man how's, there, how's everything how's the new season going you probably only have time to watch my show because you're too busy shooting the new survivor series right now anyway but anyway hey what's up i want to say hi to ali and the whole survivor community my name is dimitri green once again we're at jeff pros bff we're of the ultimate survivor but anyway enough about that i want to talk about just something fun today lying now we can talk about lying in like 200 different ways but this time we're going to talk about lying in the simple fashion of lying about what you have lying about having an idol or an advantage in the game should you do it yes or no i say you should try it every once in a while you see what happens is if you lie to somebody and say you know i have an idol or i have an advantage that takes a lot of steam off of you because they'll immediately say well this person has an advantage or an idol you might want to be careful how you vote for them so you're already taking some heat off your back but then eventually there's gonna have to come a time where you're gonna have to own up to it and if you don't actually have the advantage then people look at you like, wow, we can't trust you. But here's why that could be a good thing. Because now you play the boy who cried wolf role, and now you say you actually do have an idol, or you do have an advantage, and yeah, you still don't you still don't show it to them, you still don't prove it that way and have to wait till the next tribal. And then guess what? They might try to vote you out, or they might stay away from you again. This might work at least two or three times, and by the time they do actually um, yeah, I try to take you out for being such a liar. And guess what? You got an idol. You got an advantage reg. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that could help you win. Don't think so? Tell me why. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it could. It could happen. You, you, you could make that work. Think about Sarah. Like, think about that move that Sarah made. She told Sari, I got, I got an advantage in the game. Immediately, they know stay away from Sarah. Now, Sarah's gonna be like, "Hey, Sarah's got an advantage. We can use that for later." She's gonna tell it. They didn't do it. They didn't say it in the last episode. But Sarah's gonna go around and tell everybody that eventually. It's gonna, the word's gonna get out. And um, yeah, so that can help you. And towards the end of the game, just be like, "Hey, I got an advantage. I got an idol. You need to take pressure off your back immediately." But then if you factor in the jury and the fact that you told a bold-faced lie, and then you have to try and cover it up and say, "I'm trying to be a game changer. It's part of the game." It may not help you, but I, I think it's worth a shot. What do you guys think? Let me know. All right, Jeff Pro's BFF. My name is Dimitri Green. If you like these little fun little topics just to argue about, then you know, like and subscribe, and we'll talk more and give you guys some more fun topics, and I'll give you more analysis. All right. So until next time, uh, I just want to say, uh, oh, and if you haven't, like and subscribe. Until next time, peace.